What is going on fellas and welcome back to the non-league to legend series where we continue as Cove Ramblers. We have made just a smidge of a change to the tactic. You can see from our recent form, it's been relatively good recently. We're back for the game in the Senior Challenge Cup. We're playing Galway United, so it's going to be a difficult one. Difficult one. They are top of the division, looking... I would say favourites to get promoted, but then again, not necessarily. For our new tactic, I've thrown on my Atletico Madrid jersey to um <clears throat> to help the lads be better at football. It's working out quite well. So, since you were here last, in the absolute thrashing we had against Finn Harps, we then went and played Dundalk in a friendly, beat them 3-1, with our new tactic, might I add. Oh, it was fruity. I didn't actually manage this game, but I picked the 11 that played it, and we won. And then we lost to Waterford, and that was a little depressing. And then we beat Athlone, 4-0. You can see Benyon, O'Brien, Whitmarsh scored a goal. Delightful. Uh, Jimmy Mwanga got a hat-trick. Then we played against Nakanahini, because, you know, relatively locally. Mwanga scored again. It was a friendly. I wanted to get the lads... Used to the tactic. Throw in a couple of friendlies. It's done well. We beat Bray. 4-2. McSweeney with a goal. Eric Kiley with a brace. And Ian Turner scored as well. Delightful. Then we played Galway United. 2 all. Mwanga and O'Brien Whitmarsh. Again, scoring goals. And we just beat Limerick. 3-0. Stephen O'Leary. Eric Kiley. Jason Abbott. Never heard his name before. Or you have. I think I told you about us saying him. He's been fantastic. What a ball winning midfielder he is. Oh, he is a baller. And he came from Cove Wanderers. And he used to be a Cove Ramblers player. So, everything is going quite delightfully, uh, you might say. We've, uh, we're have we sitting in sixth. So, picked up. Our form, has, as you've just seen, has picked up quite nicely. We have, unfortunately, lost a couple of players. We did bring in Jason. Wait, we said Yuri Keller. Or Uli Keller. Don't remember doing that. Oh, he's gone straight in the nineteens. That's why I don't remember him. Who the fuck is Jordan Carroll? Fair enough. Uh, but Jason Abbott came in. He's been in sensational form. Look at that aggression. Concentration sucks ass, but he's naturally fit. He's a good player. He's a good all-rounder. 26 years old. A little bit on the ancient side. But he has spent his entire career playing in Cork, basically. Went from Cork City... To UCC, Cove Ramblers, Cove Ramblers, back to Cove Ramblers. He looks an absolute fruity player. So we have lost Robert Gamble, who went to Shelbourne, uh, under 19s. But they're paying him money. Then Shane O'Rourke left. They're also paying him money. Uh, then Jake Gorman went to Galway under 19s. Not paying him money, so it's depressing. And then Jerry McLaughlin left. The guy who was playing pretty much every game for us. Left. Uh, then Lee David left for UCD and has played for their second team. He was a regular player for us. He's gone. Keith Healy, who I literally put into the first team. He's already played six games. He was actually going to get some games towards the end of the season. He's gone. Left for North End United. Don't even know where they are. Wexford. Why would you move to Wexford of all places? And Keith Brown recently just left for Galway United. Um, <clears throat> I can kind of understand his logic for leaving. There was a lot of players ahead of him. He was never really going to get a game. We have... Oh, oh no, no, we need to go here. Release players. Um, Jamie Hoare came to me, said he wanted to play. I said no. And he said, fine, I want to leave. And I said, grand. And then he just, his contract ended. He was on a non-contract anyway. It makes no difference. I don't care. He was never going to play. So, I'm going to give you 10 seconds to figure out what the tactic we're going to playing is. Because it's oh, it's working so well. Watch it now. It's going to absolutely bomb in this. So, I think I've stalled for about 10 seconds now. We are, we're playing Pulis Ball. Playing Route 1 and it's working. As you can see from the ratings, Charlie Fleming. I put him on fullback, defend 7.04. Oh, 
Uh, we have had two weeks from the last game, so a lot of our players are a little tired. Uh, O'Brien Whitmarsh is an 8.03. Eric Kiley, 7.26. Mwanga, his ratings dropped a bit, but he's still playing really well. Um, everyone's rating is progressing, except for uh, O'Riordan, of course, you know, because it's O'Riordan. He just doesn't seem to play well, ever. But I'm adamant that I'm going to play him because he has so much potential. Uh, Abbott is cup tight for this game, so as Gary, who is actually a player I had in the, my under-19s for a very long time, I brought him in for the first game we played with Route 1, and he was just... he. Was, he was quite good. So he's coming back in. But he unfortunately played his first game like the day before Jason Abbott arrived. And Jason Abbott just went straight into the first team. But for this game we are going to start with Mylod in goal. Because Tom Holland has just been meh recently. Um, Fleming and Taylor as our wing backs. Well Taylor as a wing back. Fleming as a full back. O'Reardon and McSweeney as our centre backs. Turner and O'Leary as our wingers. As Gary and... As Gary, as Gary, and Hurley as our centre midfielders, O'Brien Whitmarsh and Kylie as our strikers. Uh, O'Brien Whitmarsh is our tallest striker, standing at a whopping six foot two. I think. I think he's six two. Uh, not very tall. So, but he's not five foot, which is pretty much. Every other striker we have, apart from I think Mawanga is six one, but other than that, all our players are five. I think we have a couple of guys that are five eleven, and uh, they're no Harry Souter, no big Harry Souter, six foot eight. I would love to have big Harry. I would literally just set him to target man, and have the lads punt the ball as hard as physically possible at him, and just let him run around the place. Just tell him never to shoot. Tell him it's a target man on support and, you know, fly away, lads. O'Leary, Kylie, straight at the keeper. We are playing cautious as well because I don't want to, um, I don't want to kind of stray too far from what's been working. Uh, Timmy Turner back in the team and he has been playing quite well since we changed. O'Brien Whitmarsh. O'Brien Whitmarsh has been the one that's made a huge difference here. The game against Galway where we drew, I didn't start him. And we ended up drawing. So, quinky dink? I don't think so. I don't think so. I knew, coming back and talking about how great the tactic has been, would lead to every one of my players being shit. Not ideal. Uh, Fleming has been exceptional since... Since we changed tactics, Fleming has just been one of our best players, and in uh, in this one, it's just um, yeah, go give it your best shot. <clears throat> That's so frustrating. Fleming has been one of the best players in the league, in the league, in the team, the last five games since we changed to. Route or yeah, route one. He has just been an absolute beast of a player, and yeah, you know, he gets sent off. Playing, to, playing shockingly, gets sent off. You know, standard. Good thing as Gary can play as a, as Gary can play as a right back. He's not great at it, but he can play it right back. And um, hmm, what do we do in this situation? We're gonna move Hurley to. We're, we're just gonna. Fuck it, dude. That's what we're doing. It's gonna go for a one man central midfield. Timmy Turner puts it in. Nobody's there, and their striker is just all by his lonesome. And Stephen Christopher comes back to haunt us again. I'm telling you, this tactic has been fantastic. All right, Eric Kiley, you're not playing well. Mwanga, you're coming on. Uh, I'm going to make O'Brien Whitmarsh support instead of attack. Hurley's playing terribly. To be fair, you don't, I can't 
really blame him. He's kind of just in midfield by himself. I know they only have one central midfielder as well. But they also have a DM. We don't. Yeah, Stephen Christopher is obviously controlling the game. He is a good footballer. Alright, we're gonna We're gonna make a change here. We're gonna bip, bop. I'm gonna put Turner right back. Make Asgari a ball winning midfielder there. Gonna just set you to yeah, just be, yeah, just fuck it. Just, actually, no, be a wing back. Be a wing back on, no, on support. Um, O'Leary, you can't play centre midfield, but this guy can. Ha ha. Make you attack. I know you're not very good at it, but you're going to be a deep line playmaker on support. Uh, I need to press play. Okay. Okay. Oh, they've. Oh, we're very lucky there. They just put it wide. Come on, lad, show a bit of passion. Ah, come on, Christopher. Stephen Christopher, don't do this to me. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. God damn it. Alright. What do we do? What do we do? What can we do? We can't really do anything, to be fair. Hurley's having a bad game. We don't have a centre midfielder on. Any other centre midfielder on the bench. We could put Mwanga. But then who do we put up front? We don't have anyone else we can put up front. Go on, Jamie O'Sullivan. You're coming on. To play at centre back. We need two goals in five minutes. What are we going to do? Bring on the centre back. Timmy Turner. Oh, it's hit the crossbar. Push forward. At least score a goal. Nope, nothing. Okay. So the tactic works, okay? It's been really good. Um not happy. Just gonna have a little uh Eric Kylie made a mistake that cost us the goal. Our strike, our striker, our striker did a boo boo, and it cost us a goal. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. As Gary suffered his feet against former club, knocked out in the first round, what was expected of us? Be competitive. I think we were. I think we were very competitive. Alright, so that's Charlie Fleming out for the Drogheda game. Not ideal, but we have a game in hand over Kevin Teeley and Bray. Four points behind Bray. There's a chance. Alright, we have a chance. We're playing Drogheda. All that matters is that we, we come out of it with, with, without being smashed. So we'll be back in just a second for that. Don't go anywhere. Stay right where you are. Because the draw had a game. I'm telling you. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. We're going to win. We've been smashing teams for fun. It has been fun. But we'll, we're, we're going to be right back. Alright fellas. We're back now for the game against draw They've beaten us four times. We've beaten them once. They have a player out with a broken lower leg. Ow. Seems he can do pretty much everything in, when it comes to being a central midfielder. He's got quite good balance and natural fitness. Ha! Huh, not anymore. Ha! Huh. Loser. That's, that's harsh. The dude has a broken leg. I shouldn't be being mean to him. But I'm gonna. Um, for this game, not a whole lot of changes. Um, I think Tom Holland comes back in for this one. I don't think. I know, because I've just done it. Uh, McAlevey comes in for Fleming, because he's suspended. Um, you can see Scooter is just after jumping online. That being said, go follow him on Twitch. Linked in the description while you're there. Intro Z and Clates FM is also uh, streamers you should go watch because they're very, very good. Um, Abbott jumps in to be our ball winning midfielder because he is now eligible to play again. And Mawanga comes in for Eric Kiley. 
Kaylee, he's not been, he's not been the, the best of late. So we're just going to bop him in, hope for the best, see what happens. Um, according to the scout report I got, they play with two box-to-box -box midfielders. It doesn't look like they're two box-to-box -box midfielders. So I'm, um, I'm just going to assume they're not. They're not going to play with two box-to-box -box midfielders. Because um, it doesn't look like it. That being said, I could be wrong. Who knows? I don't. I'm going to assume it's like a centre midfielder, ball winning midfielder maybe. I'm going to ask Les to show a bit of passion. Abbott, having a poor game today. Not really what I uh, would We're nearly, f we're 40 minutes into the game and there's, okay it's five shots now. There had been three shots. And literally nothing was happening. There was two players offside when that ball came in. There was two players standing on, on the goal line, offside. Look, there's one there. And the other one was, oh, the guy who scored was the guy who was offside ridge. And he's a DM. One shot on target in the entire first half. And they score from it. I'm going to try and get some some faith from these players here. Nobody gets a flying dick fart. Fantastic. Nobody's playing well either. This is even better. Oh, delightful, lads. This is just, this is, after everything I said in the lead up to this, these two games, my players are literally not bothering to show up. Why would they? Why would you bother showing up to a game where you need to win? Well, I suppose we don't need to win, but I want to win. Grats, sir. Come on, he's holding on to the ball way too long. Oh, Timmy Turner. Turned up. Mawanga. Jimmy Mawanga. Fantastic. Jimmy Wanga. Mawanga. 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 I don't know. Oh, Kane. No, just remind me. Uh, Harry Kane has joined Liverpool. 127 million. So lots of money for um for Harry Kane. Seems you know, legitimate. Uh I'm gonna bring on Charlie Lyons, just gonna make him a full back. Yeah, we'll go full back defend. We're gonna go super defensive. I bring Mary Lamb on for I'm gonna bring on, on for David Hairley. Move Abbott to be the Boxed, no, uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna make him a central midfielder on attack because he scores the goals when he does that. <coughs> Mawanga O'Brien Whitmarsh to O'Leary gets dis or gets blocked up by Kane, and then it just somehow gets in between my two centre backs. And Chris Lyons scores his 13th of the season. It looks like they're playing a little bit of Pulis ball as well. We're basically just Pulis balling it at each other. And seeing what happens. Alright. O'Brien Whitmer hasn't done it today. Eric Kiley's going to come on. Play alongside Mwanga. Who's going to move across and be the target man. For the final couple of minutes. Timmy Turner. Puts it in, or oh, 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 Turner puts it back across. McSweeney, O'Reardon, oh, Lamb, Abbott. Oh! How is that a goal kick? What the fuck? Come on, let's push forward. McAlevey, Moanga, back to Turner. Tries to get it across, but Abbott gets there. Lamb, back to Abbott. Lads, we're going the wrong way. Okay, perfect. Lions. Whips it in, Kylie doesn't get the push. Stephen O'Leary with a last minute equaliser. Still a chance we could win this game. Still a chance. A, a point is better than nothing, but I, I hate playing for a draw. I don't want to play for a draw. McSweeney, you had a horrendous game. I'm 
Okay, well, Moanga, you were... Yeah, you're not happy at all. Okay, well, you were... That was terrible. And McSweeney, you were terrible. Uh, costly mistake led to the goal. Can I make... Can I make him slightly happy? Timmy Turner's not happy now. Whatever. I don't care. Everybody in the team likes me. That's all that matters. Go to hierarchy. Look at it. Okay, never mind. Who, uh... As Gary doesn't like me now? Uh, to be fair, I can understand why Robbie Dunn doesn't like me. I forgot he existed. The ex-Sunderland player. Completely forgot that he was a footballer. Five unbeaten for Cove Ramblers in the league. Come on, lads. We are three points behind Bray. Imagine if we got promoted. Imagine if we got promoted. After how terrible we were for the majority of the, like the second, third of the season, really. We were terrible. We had a good start and we've been shocking since. Um, When do we come back now? I think we'll probably come back for Athlone Bray. Athlone Bray. That's probably the best time to come back. The last two games of the season. I don't think a whole heap is going to happen. If we get into a situation where like we're challenging for playoffs then maybe we come back sooner but other than that at Lone Bray is where we're going to come back so that being said if you have enjoyed please make sure to be sure to leave a like comment subscribe share with all your friends if you don't have friends just share it on Facebook Twitter Instagram, wherever, wherever tickles your fancy, share it with people and the people will watch it because this is the best series on YouTube. Obviously, nobody in the history of gaming has ever done this. Just saying. So yeah, um, leave a like, comment, subscribe, as I said. Um, I do love feedback. I love finding out what people think I should be doing, uh, what you think. I'm doing incorrectly. Um, I think playing Pulis Ball is probably going to be a bit. It's going to be. I'm going to probably have bad reactions from people, but it's working. So, and we're a shit team who needed points, and I resorted to playing Pulis Ball. I'm sorry. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, fellas, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!